Biomolecules can form in the absence of life. Small biomolecules can join to form chains in the absence of life. Of the two forms of a biomolecule, biomolecules have what is known as handedness with left-handed and right-handed forms. There are several mechanisms through which uh, molecules with the same handedness may join. The rate of these processes can be increased by a site for these reactions to occur, a substrate, and there are a number of minerals known to do this. For example, there is a common clay, montmorillonite, which catalyzes the joining of RNA nucleotides and other small molecules such as amino acids. They absorb onto the surfaces of this clay, which creates repeating pockets, uh, which bring these reacting molecules in close proximity to each other in the right orientation, facilitating the formation of new bonds between them to join them. The bonds formed between reacting biomolecules, such as RNA nucleotides, are similar to those which are found in the RNA molecules in living things. RNA can bind uh, these clay surfaces. Uh, RNA molecules which perform chemical reactions, known as ribozymes, can do the same. And the surface of the clay actually protects them from ultraviolet light and x-rays. Mica occurs in sheets, which also might have facilitated the chemical reactions in a prebiotic earth. The spaces between the mica sheets provide a more stable environment protecting organic molecules, and the movements of the sheets could provide the mechanical energy for the formation of new bonds. Diverse biomolecules bind mica, and diverse enzymatic reactions are known to occur here. Also, in between the sheets, there is a high concentration of potassium, which is interesting because living cells maintain high levels of potassium inside the cells, while sodium is in a higher concentration outside the cells. And so diverse minerals may have had a role in facilitating the steps needed for an abiotic origin of life.